Welcome learners. In today's video, we will learn about the interpretation of correlation analysis, regression analysis, reliability analysis, and descriptive statistics or descriptive analysis. So this video is going to be very, very helpful for you. So please watch this video till end to learn about the interpretation of these four research for analysis tools. So don't miss any part of this video because this video is going to be very, very useful for you if you are a beginner or if you are an expert. So let's start this informative video without wasting any further more time. Welcome to Maradhanas Academy, the place where people come to learn. So learners, first is correlation analysis. Why we use correlation analysis? Correlation analysis is done to see the relationship of our variables. In other words, the correlation tells us the relationship between our independent variables and dependent variables. Correlation also tells us the impact which our independent variables are putting on our dependent variable. Correlation, or, or correlation analysis also tells us the relationship between our variables are positive or negative. So it also shows the direction of our variables. Number two, it tells us about the significant or insignificant relationship of our variables. It also tells that our variable relationship is strong or they have a weak relationship with each other. Number three, one is a maximum relationship in correlation so if your correlation is coming more than one then your results are invalid so maximum one is the limit so your maximum correlation can be 0 0.98 or 0 0.88 something but it cannot cross the one limit barrier next we have next point is Correlation tells you the positive relationship between your variables or negative relationship with your variables. For example, your two variables A and B and the correlation is coming 0 0.789 significant two star. Then it means it's positive and significant relationship between the variables. And if in case your correlation between your two variables A and B is coming minus 0 0.638 then your very then your uh, correlation of your variable is negative next the weak relationship the weak correlation is when your correlation falls between 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 then it's considered as weak relationship okay 0.1 or 0 0.3 if your correlation of your variable a and b falls in this category or in this range then your variable a and b have weak relationship if your correlation of your variable a and b falls between 3.1 and 0.6 then it's considered moderate relationship if your variable a and b relationship is 0.61 or above then it's considered as strong relationship so this is an example of correlation table as you can see this is the final output in APA format style as you can see on the top there are variables name and the left as well there are variable name and you can see there is one written everywhere this is the maximum value so your correlation will be less than one not more than one and then you see this correlation for example of BI which is brand image and BL which is brand loyalty it's 0 0.3102 two star so what does two star means? It means the correlation is significant at level 0 0.05 level two tail. So it's significant. Okay, then they all show you correlation. All are positive. As you can see, there is no sign of minus. Let's see its uh, interpretation. Example, example number one. The correlation between brand image and brand loyalty is 0 0.310 significant. So what does this shows? It shows that the very this shows that the relationship between brand image and loyalty is positive. Number one, number two, the relationship between these two variables is weak. And the third point, it tells us that the relationship between brand image and brand loyalty is significant with each other. This means if brand image increases, then brand loyalty with 
will also increase with it this will not happen for example if brand image is increasing and brand loyalty is, is decreasing then there is no relationship okay your hypothesis will be rejected keep that in mind so if your independent variable is increasing then your brand, then your dependent variable will also increase with it so this shows that the brand image has positive and significant impact on brand loyalty okay let me explain with you one more example so it will be clear to you this is another example the correlation between product and brand loyalty is 0.8162 significant star this shows that these variables have positive relationship number two they have strong relationship and they have significant relationship with each other this means that if product increases then brand loyalty also increases if product quality increases then brand loyalty also increases with it this shows that product has positive and significant impact on brand loyalty next we have is regression analysis why regression analysis is done it's done to see the strength of your model okay it's conducted to know how much your independent variables are explaining your dependent variables how much percentage your independent variables are changing your dependent variables it also tells you the strength of your research model one is the strongest model and 0 0.01 means that your model is the weakest model so it also tells you the percentage of dependent variable changes or explains the dependent variable it also tells you about r value r square value beta value t value significant value frequency value and so more so r what does r means r means it's same as correlation as we discussed early on that it tells the relationship between your variables it explains your hypothesis relationship as well then comes your r square r square tells the strength of your variables relationship with each other r square also tells you that how strong or how weak is your variable then R square also tells how much independent variables are explaining or changing your dependent variable. R square also tells that how much your independent variable is explaining your dependent variable. Next is adjusted R square. It shows it shows the sorry the adjusted R square shows the reality of your variables the relationship with each other. Then it also shows the coefficient of regression table, which gives you, which tells you the individual effect of independent variable to or on dependent variable. Then it shows a significant value, which is called p value. Then it shows a t value. T value should be minus two or more. If your hypothesis, are, if you are studying negative relationship between your variables, okay, then your t value will come on minus two or more if your hypothesis statements are telling a relationship of your uh, are telling a positive relationship of your variables then your t value should be plus two or more okay it can let me repeat t value can be minus two or more or it can also be plus two or more okay next we have is t value t value should be bigger than 1.96 as just i mentioned and t value also tells you that your hypothesis is rejected or accepted so you can also accept and reject your hypothesis if your t value is more than two just example it's eight then your hypothesis will be accepted if your hypothesis are positive then your hypothesis will be accepted then ff tells the joint effect of both independent and independent variables on dependent variables okay let me repeat f value tells the joint effect of both independent variables if you have three or four variables then it will tell you the joint effect of these variables on your dependent variable then f value also tells you the significant of your model and it also tells that your model is good fit or not if your uh, f value is more it should be two or more than two let me repeat your f value should be 2 or more than 2 it can be 2 it can be more 200 300 400 so 
the more high value is it will show you that model is your good fit and your significant value is good as well then it also tells you that if significant value of f is 0 0.05 then it means that model is acceptable and devi deviation indicated in the model is not just accidental which means that your model is acceptable your uh, results are significant your variables relationship is significant and it shows that your data which you collected is reliable and it's not an accidental next we have beta beta tells us how much independent variable effect is on dependent variable let's take example of beta value is 0 0.705 then it means that it changes it that means that the effect of change in independent variable is 0 0.705 on dependent variable sorry for the mistake but you can also write it as 0 0.705 or 70.705 percentage as well next we have regression analysis table this is how it looks like it first comes your beta then your t value and your significant value okay then you can write under this table r square r r r, r, r square value r value f value significant value you can also add them in, in different table on the same table there is no issue with it then comes the research uh, regression analysis interpretation the above table shows the value of r and r square the r value is 0.745 or 74.5 percent this shows the level of correlation between variables used in the current study the r square is 0.556 or 55.60 percent it shows that the level of independent variables are explaining the dependent variables of the of the study which is more than 50 percent in other words you can say that your independent variables are explaining your dependent variables 55 percent then comes your f value first comes its significant value which should be 0, 0.00 and less than 0, 0.05 so it means the number model is acceptable if it's less than 0, 0.05 then it's acceptable otherwise it's not and your f value should be more than 2 as i mentioned earlier so current f value is coming in front of us is 123.45 which is more than 2 and go to show that model is good fit and show the strength of the model as well next we have is t value brand awareness t value is 1.900 which is bigger than 1.96 and plus it is also a significant value with 0 0.005 which is less than 0 0.05 so this means the hypothesis are accepted as it's a positive value plus it's more than 1.96 or more than 2 then comes your beta value beta value is 0 0.70 which shows that one unit change of 0 0.70 in brand awareness will change brand loyalty by same units of number which is 0 0.70 units in other words brand loyalty will be increased by Z by 0 0.070 units so this shows that the brand awareness has positive and significant impact on brand loyalty and due to this solid reason the hypothesis one is accepted let's move to our next next is liability analysis level why liability analysis is done let me tell you liability analysis is done to whether check the data which we have collected the data which we are using for our results for data analysis is liable or not okay next liability is required for each variable whether it's independent or independent variable or dependent variable or moderator or moderator so it's compulsive for every variable mm, its minimum acceptable level is 0.7 and uh, your if 0 0.7 is your liability then it shows that low lower liability but it's acceptable if it's more than 0 0.7 like 0 0.8 then it's a higher liability this is how liability analysis or statistics table looks like as you can see on left side there are variables or items name and on right side there is con by alpha's value values which all are more than 0 0.7 and which are acceptable so now I will give you an example of interpretation of liability brand as you can see in front of you it's point seven uh, brand loyalty is like so liability analysis interpretation example 
एग्जाम्पल इज द ब्रांड लॉयल्टी ब्रांड लॉयल्टी लाइबिलिटी इज पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स एट विच इज़ हाई देन द मिनिमम एक्सेप्टेबल लेवल ऑफ पॉइंट सेवन देन देर इज लाइबिलिटी ऑफ ब्रांड इमेज विच इज ऑल्सो हायर देन पॉइंट सेवन एंड देन देर इज देन देर इज लाइबिलिटी ऑफ ब्रांड ब्रांड अटैचमेंट इट्स लाइबिलिटी इज ऑल्सो पॉइंट सेवन वन जीरो विच इज़ हाई एंड एडवोकेट तो बाई दिस वे यू विल do your liability analysis interpretation let's move to our last topic which is descriptive statistics why it is done it is done to get uh, get or know the information about the distributions of your variables of your demographic variables i am talking about here okay what are your demographic variable they are your gender age you can say you can also use your main variable like independent and dependent variable as well the high uh, mostly recommended or i would recommend you is to use uh, to conduct descriptive statistics or descriptive analysis on your independent and dependent variables if your study is for example you are studying the demographic features of your uh, respondents for example the male female gender you are studying which 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 gender is more productive or you are conducting a study of different age groups then you you will conduct your descriptive statistics on your demographic variables otherwise if you are normal you are doing a study with your search model then you will conduct your descriptive statistics on your independent your dependent variables moderator or moderators variable okay so let's move ahead what what does the mean value of descriptive statistics show us it shows the uh it shows the variable variability around the mean how much vari- uh, variable has the variability and then the standard deviation shows us the deviation each variable has from its normality so then as that's it for today i tried my level best to explain you how you can explain you the uh, sorry i tried my level best to explain you the interpretation of data analysis tools of correlation regression liability and descriptive statistics okay at my level best to explain you i hope it's clear to you it i had tried my level best to explain you so i hope it's clear to you you understand now you can easily do your interpretation without any uh, trouble or without any issue or without taking any help from any person so if you learned from my video then do like it if you haven't learned anything from this video then do dislike it there is no issue if you want more videos like this then please do comment down below if you want spss books then do comment down below i will provide you which will also help you a lot so if you have not subscribed my channel then please subscribe it and press on the bell icon to get notification of my latest videos thanks for watching